Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a dupe video. If you don't know what a dupe is, it's basically a duplicate of another product. So say there's a product that you really, really like, but it was limited edition and you're trying to find something to replace it, um, it would be a good dupe for it. Or say you have a product that you're really interested in from a brand that you don't really support, it could be a dupe for something like that. Today's dupe that we're going to be talking about, I'm talking about the Anastasia Beverly Hills Ombrezy Highlighter. It's a super popular highlighter, but it was limited edition. It is one of my favorites, um, but I use it like almost every single day. So I have been looking for something for when I hit pan on it, and I don't have a lot of it left. I love this highlighter, but I, I do need to find a replacement because it was limited edition. It is just this beautiful gold highlighter. Um, it has a really nice creamy formula. It is a powder, but it doesn't really emphasize texture, at least on my skin. And the dupe we're going to be talking about today is the Nabla Cosmetics Skin Glazing Highlighter in the shade Amnesia. It was on sale for Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And I decided to pick it up because I had some points as well, and there was free shipping, so I got this for about $9. I believe it retails for around $24 or $25. I'm not quite sure. I'll put it in the description box below, as well as the price for the Ombrezy um, Limited Edition Highlighter. I believe that was around $30. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch them next to each other. And I'm going to talk about the texture, the formula, if they feel similar. First I'm swatching... The Omrezy highlighter. Very creamy. I do love the formula, as I've mentioned. Now on the finger next to it, I'm going to swatch this Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter in Amnesia. This is the Nabla. I can already tell the Nabla is slightly warmer and a little bit deeper. But let's see when we actually swatch them on my wrist how they compare. So right here, this is the Omrezy. And the Nabla is not quite as pigmented from one swipe. But that could be because it is a brand new highlighter and it hasn't been really worked into a lot. I'm going to be using the same brush for both highlighters. So I'm using the Real Techniques setting brush. On this cheek, I'm going to go ahead and use the Omrezy highlight. You can see it's very reflective. It doesn't look very yellow gold or anything. It just kind of, on my skin tone, kind of mimics how the light is hitting my face. Now let's try this Nabla Cosmetics Skin Glazing Highlighter. Using the same brush, but this one's clean. I have several of this brush. It is my favorite highlighting brush of all time. So this is the Omrezy. This is the Nabla. They're very similar, but I, I have heard this is a good dupe. I wouldn't say it is a spot on dupe. Final thoughts on this dupe comparison. I think that both formulas are really nice. The Omrezy highlight is a bit more pigmented. They wear kind of differently in the skin in that aspect that the Omrezy is a little bit more blinding and pigmented and reflective. And the Nabla one, I can see why they call it skin glazing. It's not like a metallic foiled highlight. It gives kind of that wet look to the skin without being overly pigmented, which I really like and is very interesting for a powder. I don't think this is a spot on dupe. It definitely is not replacing the Omrezy highlighter in my collection, but it's definitely something that I'm glad I picked up and I will be reaching for. It's a little bit more up my alley because I used to be really into blinding Instagram type highlights um, with like full on glam makeup. Now I like that like glossy skin look to my face, so I'm really glad I picked this up. Again, not a spot on dupe, but definitely a great product. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.